Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am tonight's entertainment. Today I'm building my first PC ever. Now I say building, but I potentially might be breaking my first PC ever. Without any further hesitation, let's just get into it. This is going to sound ridiculous, but I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I just bought these parts, hoping that my mechanical knowledge with like engines and machines and things like that help in this situation. Saying that, don't pick on me in the comment section. First time ever. I apologize if I screw up. Adam LZ was my inspiration on doing this. It looked like it was stressful. I mean, it looked like it was fun. And that's kind of why I'm doing it myself. No idea what these things are. I will leave everything in the description, all the specs and everything, along with the links, and I'll explain more as we go. Here's our motherboard. I think it'd be very beneficial to get the, the thing we're actually putting all these components in. I purchased a Versa N21. Now that we got the chassis for this fine machine out, let's start stabbing some parts in. I'll try to explain my overall objective here, and that is just to provide content to you easier and faster. As you guys know, I make a video every single day. Well, just about. And if I can speed that process up by building a computer, that saves me time editing and things like that, so that I have more time in my day. I believe the first thing I have to do is pop this thingy in here. In case you are unsure, you should probably never listen to anything I'm suggesting in this video. I just want to remind everybody, this is not a tutorial at all. I'm merely trying to build a better computer for myself. If I make a mistake, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, take it easy on me. Now I do believe we install this processor next. You know, they said it would be marked, but I don't see a mark. Install processor first, then remove, keep the cover. I don't believe you're supposed to touch that. Oh yeah, it fits right in there. Sweet. Processor is installed! I think. Now I'm going to install this fan. I believe that's thermo paste. Then right here it says CPU fan. So I'm assuming that goes right in there. I'm not quite sure if I should put the motherboard in first or the CD, the DVD drive or whatever this thing's called. So I'm going to install this first. I guess it's an Asus DVD drive. Got the front plate off. Now we should stab this sucker right in here. I think we just push this in. I'm assuming you just screw it in now? It didn't come with screws. Sounds like screws. Okay, cool, we got screws. Oh yeah, that screw works. Now I'm just gonna make this flush on the other side here. Well, I guess I can only pick that one or that one. All four screws installed. I believe I made a good decision by installing this before the motherboard. Now I'm going to put the motherboard in. We're gonna do the old flip-flop. Did the old flip-flop. After the successful flip-flop, I'm gonna toss the motherboard in here. I don't see any washers, so I guess I'm just going to screw these screws in. Okay, I think I might have put the wrong screws in. I only have three in. I, maybe I'm trying... Maybe I'm supposed to put this one in. It's got a little bigger of a head. Nope, that one doesn't go in. I guess my first instinct was right. They always told us to go with our first instinct in school and multiple choice and things. Sometimes I'd listen, sometimes I wouldn't. I think I'd make the wrong choice no matter what it was. If I listened or didn't listen. This will be my last and final screw. I have six screws into the motherboard. I do believe the fan that has not come in yet just replaces this fan. Motherboard's installed. I have two four terabyte hard drives that I want to install. And I also have this SSD. I'm not quite sure where to put this, but I am pretty sure where to put this. Saying that, I'm going to install this next. Four screws in. Sweet. And like I said, I have two four terabyte hard drives. Making a video every day, you 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 have a surplus of footage. Just let's just say that. Here's my second tray. Snap, crackle, pop. Building a computer has been, or I wouldn't say a dream, but more of an item on the to-do list. And what finally made me decide to do this 
is when I was contacted by DJI, they gave me a drone and, and it shoots in 4K. It's amazing picture, it's amazing quality. Saying that, I want to have the rest of the video match that same render format. Right now it's taking me about, uh, about two and a half hours to do an 11 minute video, the ren render process. And that, that's with two passes though. Now I don't exactly know what I'm talking about, but that's what I have my format at. And, and the drone footage itself is really good. It's just I have to, I think I have to update the software that I'm using. It doesn't allow me to render at 59 frames per second, which the GoPros usually do. So it makes the GoPro look like crap. But just like life, it's a learning experience. Snapdragon pop number two. Found the spot. I feel like a highly educated individual. Or just a big kid with a big Lego set. An expensive Lego set. All right, so the SSD is installed, I do believe. Holy smokes, I only got, I only have three more pieces. This is for extra USB ports. I always love to have extra USB ports. That's why I bought extra USB ports. Don't know quite yet. Let's install this bad boy. Now, <laughs> the thing is, is when you're building computers, everybody, just, just like vehicles, just like just like anything, everybody rates things differently. Like some people want to have a Corvette and other people want a super fast computer. I don't think I want either, but I do want a sufficient PC. Saying that, I bought a GTX 1070. Adam got a 1080 and he got two of them. Now you, you do know what I want to accomplish here. And I would appreciate any constructive, I, I wouldn't say criticism, but constructive comments on how I can make this computer better. Holy smokes. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. In search of incredible. Incredibly sharp. No, I shouldn't have plugged it in. Come on, you can get in there, little screw. Booyah! That thing is massive. I believe I found the spot for these extra USB ports. Lastly, it looks like we have our power supply. This is a Nex 750B. I know that because I can read. I don't, however, know what that stands for or what that means. I know how to work a knife and a screwdriver. That's about it, as good as it's gonna get. Don't drop it! Don't drop it! I dropped it. Not not the important part though. Wow, that thing's big! I believe I want this on this side. I got a better idea. I'm going to remove this side of the tower as well, so I can kind of see how I'm going to manage my wires. That's not the right screw. That feels like the right screw. Building computers! My last couple parts came in. That includes my RAM. I got 32 gigabytes of DDR3. I guess this is good stuff, so that's what I got. I also got my last cable. I also have my cooler installed. I believe I have everything installed correctly. This will be the first time I plug it in, push the power button to see if it works. If it works, I'm really happy. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna need some guidance. It's plugged in. Power is on. Here we go. I don't think that's good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this 3D Machines production. It looks like I don't have a working computer. I have a lot of expensive parts though. If anybody has any tips or anything, at least I tried. I hope you enjoyed my, my failure of a computer build. I try to make videos every day on, on things that I know how to do. This one, not so much. If you liked the video, smash the hell out of the like button, maybe subscribe. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Son of a pop. Hello you beautiful person. If you have made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. I would like to notify you that I am going to do a live stream today. Sometime in the evening I'm going to do a live stream and hopefully one of you or a few of you can help me fix this thing. 
I want to have a working computer. I have a few dollars invested into this and I would like to see it actually do something productive other than being a paperweight. I would really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't even know what you would call this upload, but I had fun, even if I do have a broken computer. See you guys soon. 3D Machines out. <laughs>